welcome to the Crable Homestead. This home was built by Barbara and David Crable in around 1826. They came here from the Shenandoah Valley of Virginia around 1808 uh, with two children in a covered wagon. And that covered wagon is still in existence today. It can be seen at the Historical Society. Um, they worked for a couple brothers until they made enough money to buy some land. And around 1826, when they had 12 children, they built this wonderful federal style home with Virginia accents. Now the house is back to its original condition and it's one of the oldest homes in Clark County. And it's certainly uh, a historical treasure. David died around 1839 and his wife continued to live here until she passed away in 1836. But there was actually, the boys, several of them did not marry and they continued to live here. And then uh, family members actually occupied the home until the early part of the 1900s. Parlor, and um, this is a room that would not be used very often. Um, it would be used for special occasions such as wakes or weddings. Um, but this room would have all the formal furniture. Um, it would just be a, a room that would seldom be used. Um, it's furthest away from the kitchen, so it's probably the coldest, even though we do have a fireplace. But, but this is definitely the, uh, the fancy sitting area that would not be um, used very often by the family. Um, this is actually the dining area, but it was much more than that. It was a common area. Um, this is where the family stayed the most. Um, they would eat here, they would cook and sew small things here. Um, the kitchen is right behind us um, in, a, in a, a separate building, but um, this was the warmest place in the house and it saw the most activity. So um, this was not for formal occasions, um, but this was where daily activities took place. So spinning, weaving, playing, um, eating, uh, this was uh, the family um, center of the house. In 1966, the Army Corps of Engineers came into this area. They purchased the land, and um, they were going to bulldoze this house. But um, some of the, um, the, the higher-up members of the Army Corps um, saw this building and, and realized that this was a really great intact structure that showed um, early life in, in Ohio. So um, they actually um, wanted to save this house. So we have a spillway that's um, over there and they had actually moved the spillway, the location of it, to save this house. So um, even in the 60s, it was, it was an important structure to the people that, that came into this area. They recognized the history and the importance of this house. Right, we've got herbs here that would be um, dried over um, this fireplace and also the kitchen fireplace. There's an arm here, so um, this arm can swing back and forth. Um, that would be used for cooking, um, for doing small, small things in here, for heating up water. And it's just um, an easy way to get the, the hot water out of the area without burning yourself. So, and if you notice on this deck of cards, they are not numbered. So if you were playing a card game, you have to be pretty adept at counting your, your cards. Um, but, so we have a, a period deck of cards here, and it just kind of one of the early board games that, that would have been played. So, you know, board games are uh, a family tradition that goes back centuries. Okay, so um, this area is the kitchen, and this is the hub of family activity. Most of the things that uh, would have been done in this household would have been done in the kitchen. So obviously the cooking is the biggest thing, and this is, um, you can tell the difference between this fireplace and the one in the parlor. This one is bigger. This one has the huge arm here to swing back and forth for all the cooking. Um, this is also the warmest place of the house, so this would have been, um, of course, the area where the family would, would crowd in. So um, the cooking, the, the dyeing of fibers, um, the drying of herbs, um, a, a lot of these domestic activities would have taken place in this kitchen. Um, this specific type of kitchen is called a Virginia Federal style kitchen. And um, the reason why this house has this separate kitchen, um, the man David Crable who, who built the house was from the Shenandoah Valley in Virginia. And this was very common to separate your kitchen from the rest of the house because if this kitchen area burnt down, the rest of the house wouldn't suffer from it. And it was just very common that it would be actually completely detached from the rest of the house. So um, that would be why this kitchen is kind of on the outer side of the house and not in, an integrated part. 
And I think a large part of that is because this fire would be going 24 seven. It would be going um, the entire day and the entire evening. So um, it's, it's a dangerous um, area. So if it did burn down, you wouldn't risk the rest of the house. This type of activity um, requires, you know, a lot of love and dedication, and it wouldn't be um, in the position it is right now without volunteer support. And I actually got involved in this for a love of history and a love of heritage. And it's it's something that I think uh, local community communities can really take part in it and, and really, um, you know, feel a sense of pride in in the local um, treasures that we do have in this area. And so I think that volunteering for organizations like this, for nonprofits, um, really gives back to the community and it, and it really supports uh, a really important part of our, our heritage and our, uh, our neighborhood. We want to make sure there's nothing in the barrel. So he'll search the piece. Finding nothing, sponge. Sometimes there's a tiny little piece that won't be picked up by that searching piece. And that sponge may pick up a tiny little piece. So that's what we're clearing a barrel. Advance, salute. Now he's put the charge, a pre-made charge, into a bag and he carried it up. Load! He's making sure the charge is round and will fit in the barrel. Ram home, charge! Pick and prime! Now she puts the metal piece in that hole slams it shut and puts a hole in the charge that we just shoved down the barrel. Make ready!